uh, imagine having model, musician and actress listed on your CV by the age of only 16. That's American teen sensation Taylor Monson for you and she's also about to release her debut single too. We'll, we'll find out more in just a moment but first uh, here she is as the rebellious Jenny in hit TV series Gossip Girl. I'm only gonna let you kill me once. No one loves you except your daddy. Everybody hates me. Go and never come back. Just let me keep the box! Who the hell are you? Get off of me. Dad, you can't take it. I didn't even do anything wrong. I will be watching you all night. Right. You're welcome to stay the night. You're not kicking me out into the street? That'll make you feel better. She's yeah. make you feel better. <laughs> Aww. Taylor Watson joins us right now. Good She's morning, Taylor. Well. No, no. Well. You got, you got food poisoning. I did. I have a bit of food poisoning from the uh, hotel. Oh, um, goodness me. Not, not the best, but it's a little better today. So. Right. Well, well, the good thing was that you said, I feel really bad. I might very well throw out at any moment. Oh, those shoes are nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to keep your mind distracted. And her shoes are cute. So. <laughs> so we've only got, actually, Gossip Girls, only got two more episodes to go, actually. Uh, it's, uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday's at 8 on ITV2. Um, and then what happens after? Because we know that there's going to be, a, 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 in the last two episodes, a bit of a revelation. Um, yes, it's going to be a very dramatic ending, and I'm not allowed to say anything. We, which I appreciate, and we wouldn't want you to because you... <laughs> and I don't want to ruin anyway. it for the fans. No, 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 no. Really people, so, so what what happens after that, then? Um, uh, it, 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 do you come back for the new series, Series 4? Well, I'm going to not uh, <clears throat> definitively answer that question, just okay. to... Uh, mess with people's heads, but I am going to be gone for um, a bit to finish the Warp Tour because um, my band and I are going on tour this summer. Yeah. Because the so. singing is something that you've always done. I mean, you said you've been writing songs yes. since the age of five. I have, I have. Um, it's a, you know, a giant part of my life. Um, I, I would almost say the biggest, even though I've been acting since I was two, um, you know, because it's really kind of saved me, kept me alive. So, um, you know, it's, it's a newer way for people to see me as I get that but you know if you can get past in, it in what way has it saved you how is it what, what's music done it's, it you? gives you an escape you know um, it's a very chaotic life and, and I've had a very interesting one and uh, you know it gives you an escape that that you can't get I guess it's any kind of art form or expression but for me it's, it's been my way of self-expression that has allowed well, me to stay sane through everything I guess you're in the <laughs> in the so thrust into the public eye at, at a young age, and and you you know you were very sensible. You got a sort of level head, um, but and you say that you're your own boss. You don't yeah, like, you don't to, like say, to, be to say the least. <laughs> I got my my managers out there somewhere, and I'm sure he's sitting there going, yeah, well, <laughs> she's a. So a have I said that being so positive, but also being your own boss, uh, uh, how, how easy is it to be that famous? Uh, at, at, at this age, at 16, that's got to be tough. I don't think it really has to do with your age. I mean, I guess I don't know because I am only 16, but I don't think that fame and the challenges that come with it are necessarily have anything to do with age. I think it's just challenging as is because, you know, there's a level of your life that sort of disappears in the way that if you, if you have a level of success or notoriety, you know, you're walking down the street, people are going to ask for your photo or whatever it is that wouldn't happen otherwise so that that it w the things that change I don't think have anything to do with well, there's a pressure on looking good as well because you know very well that when you walk <clears> out any wherever you go in the in, in the street whether it's in this country or any other country you know people are going to take pictures they're going to stick them on the internet and uh, and so you you ha there yeah. is a pressure that comes with that as well well I mean there is and there isn't there is if you care and if you just do what I do you just don't give a shit and you uh, don't can I not say that? Sorry. No, not really. And but we'll apologise. Sorry. That. That's okay. Um, you just don't read the internet. Mm. <laughs> you don't read it. You know what I mean? Because then, yeah. if you you know if you read, because someone's always going to say something about what you're doing or how you're looking that day or whatever, and it's like you know be you comfortable, have... be comfortable in your own skin and what mm. you're doing, and you just are... because someone takes a photo and spins it, a story out of it or something, that you know what you were doing. It's... <clears throat> you are only 16, and um, in the past you have sort of come under fire slightly of dressing quite provocatively as a 16-year-old. Well, I don't really under I mean, am I supposed to dress that way when I'm 30? Like, I don't really <laughs> understand. Isn't that when you're supposed to be able to wear anything? <laughs> well, normally, normally then you've got... A, you, 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 your mother says, uh, what? You're not going out looking like that. 
So yeah, so, I guess, but I, you know, as I, she, I graduated high that? school two years ago, so. Yeah. <laughs> so you are definitely your own boss in everything. I'm my own well, boss. you signed up to IMG, didn't you? The, the one of the world's biggest modeling yeah, agencies. Yeah, I was. I've been. Well, I've been modeling. That's actually where I started everything. Was when I was two, I started modeling for Ford modeling agency, and then um, started doing commercials when I was three. So I've been doing it for a while. Long and, time. Uh, IMG's great. Well, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the the music because it certainly seems that I mean you say that uh, that you've been acting for you know for, since you were two or three, um, but but music has always been incredibly important to you. Um, yes. And so, why did it take you until now? <laughs> you haven't had that much time to think about <laughs> it, but why why now to do it? Um, well, a couple reasons. I mean, I've been writing like I said, I've been writing since I was five years old. So you know, it takes a while to find your little niche and, and the right people to work with and um, you know really where you want to fit in and all of this and and it's been a challenge because I really like rock music and um, it's a very pop uh, market at the moment and there's a lot of pop acts which is, is awesome but to find kind of a way to um, be a rock band in a pop world has been a bit of a challenge and I'm very lucky I found some fantastic people to work with a guy named Kato who produced the record and um, you know, my band's been fantastic. I wrote the record with my guitar player, Ben, and a uh, uh, writing partner, I guess, clearly. Well, and, the Pretty uh, Reckless is the name of the is band. The name, yes, the name of the band's called The Pretty Reckless. And, you know, so it, t it took a while. Cause, I mean, aside from that, I'm not going to put out a record when I'm seven years old or whatever, sure. you know? So, like, no one's going to buy it. And I'm not looking for, you know, you don't want... <clears throat> you know, 16, 17 records coming out when I'm seven. So was acting so. just a stepping stone, then? Um, I wouldn't call it a stepping stone. I mean, I guess in a way it was, but I wouldn't. I, I don't by any means want to put down acting or, or say I don't enjoy it or love it. It's you know, it's just a different kind of love. To you know, you don't. I didn't get into music to become famous or successful or even anything like that. It's I do it because I really love it. <laughs> and acting's been a job that I've done for my whole life, so it's become you know, a part of a part of me, I guess you could say. But. Well, the um, the single's called "Make Me Want to Die." It's out on May the seventeenth, and um, let's have a little look. You make me want to die. I'll never be good enough. You make me want to die. And everything you love will burn up in the light. Every time I love you. There you go. That's what it is. Um, and uh, and so as far as we've, we've got the fashion that we've talked about, you've got, uh, you've got your acting, you've got your music. Um, so so if, you, if you had to do one of those things, would it be the music? I mean, I don't like to pick that way because I think that there's a way to do all of them, but um, without saying yes or no, music is definitely um, the focus at the moment and it's definitely the thing that is the most personal to me and, and the thing I could never give up. It must be hard to say the time, least. though, to do, to do all of those things because, you know, each within the moment is a full well, time. Well, you know, if I've been asked before, how do you juggle three careers? And the answer is you just don't sleep. <laughs> Yeah. But then you end up with food well, poisoning. Well, you're a bit of a and, uh, yeah, then food poisoning. Then you don't feel very well. Everything didn't crash for a week, but you know. That's, but you that's, are a workaholic, though, aren't you? Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, when I, when I was working on the show, I would start working on the show at probably 4:30 in the morning and get picked up, work until about seven or eight on the show, and then go to the studio and record and write until like two, three in the morning, and then do it again. So I was sleeping like two, three hours a night, type thing, mm. and. Uh, then now the show's on, you know, hiatus and stuff, so it's simply music and um, playing and all that is the focus at the moment. We finally finished recording the record, yeah. so it's getting mixed and mastered at the moment. So that's like a giant accomplishment because with with the schedule that we had, it was it was a giant production to find the time, like to, to you know to work out the schedules of yeah. you know when I could actually be in the studio working as opposed to being on the show. Or An whatever. album later on in the year. And sorry? When's the album? That's later on. Oh, yeah, it? it's supposed to come out this summer, at the end of yeah, the summer. Yeah. Is, uh, we don't have a specific date yet, but we do have an EP coming out, which is four songs off of the record. Um, we'll coming out the, on June, I think it's June 22nd. We'll put all the details on our website, so yeah. point everyone in the right And the direction. single clearly May 17th, yeah. so buy that. <laughs> Thank you, for, Thank you uh, much. for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you so much um, for having me. And uh, that all went very well, didn't it? Yes. Go on then. Minus I cut, do you know. Go on. You, you're going to hate. You hate answering this question, but I did say earlier on because I wanted to know because I am a girl what it was like to kiss Chase Crawford, and then he went, "You won't like it." No, you can't ask. She'll be you sick of that. that. She'll say she'll be sick of that. But then you know, and looking through Twitter, that's what people want to know. Well, so, you know, it's a job. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it was all, so it was okay. It's you know, it's 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 acting. He was here a little while ago. He was sat, sitting oh, he was. He's a yeah. very nice about, guy. About two very or three handsome. weeks ago, which is why uh, why which is why yeah. you wanted to ask the question. Yeah, I did. Oh, so good job. It was, 
it was a uh, you know it's, I think it's it work. went very well then actually that was a reasonable answer wasn't yeah, it brilliant. yeah brilliant good good glad I asked yeah Thank we're done and uh thank you i'm gonna go th yeah no thank you very much well indeed you now. managed to do the whole thing without chucking up so that's marvelous well <laughs> done thank you